welcome to the last module in the VMware vCenter Site Recovery Manager 5 video series. My name is Andrew Elwood. I'm a senior technical instructor with VMware Education Services. We've made it all the way through configuration, installing, site pairing, uh, all of the storage environments. We have all gone right through, right up until the last piece, which was where we executed an SRM failover. And a failover was whereby we had declared some sort of disaster, and we told SRM to do its magic, fail those virtual machines over from the protected site to the recovery site. So now, we're in a situation where our VMs are running on the recovery site, and maybe we've repaired some of the componentry in the back end. How, in, how do we take ourselves from a position where we're now not protected? Because realistically, if you think about it, we failed over from protected to recovery. We don't actually have a protection plan in play already to go from the, uh, the old recovery site to fail back to the protected site, the original protected site. So that's what SRM failback is going to talk about. And with SRM5, one of the things that we... Uh, have got built in when you're using SAN based replication is the ability to do a one button reprotection. And what one button reprotect means is that if you've executed a recovery plan so that you've failed over to your recovery site, we then take a look at the plan that that failover process was based upon. We then reverse the direction of replication of the storage underneath the covers. We get the replication going the other way, and then we reprotect those VMs according to the plan in the opposite direction. And that's a fairly powerful tool, so one button to actually execute that whole series of steps. And at that point, you would then essentially be trading which one of the two sites is the protected site uh, with the recovery site. So my original protected site would now become my recovery site. Now, the only restriction to this, well, there's a couple of them actually, is that this is not an applicable function if you had to rebuild from scratch the original uh, fail the original protected site. And what that means is, let's say we had that smoking hole in the ground scenario. You've had to replace those servers with brand new hardware. You've got new UUIDs when you deployed vCenter. You've had to redeploy SRM on top of all of that stuff. Well, that's an entirely new environment. So the concept of a, quote, fail back, well, there was no back to fail to. We had to rebuild the entire environment from scratch. But that still doesn't mean that you're in tough shape. Because realistically, all you do is what we went through in this video series. You go ahead and configure your site pairing, and you set up your replication environment so it replicates, and you look at your protection groups, and you build your recovery plans. And by the way, you have a template for your recovery plans because you still have that one living on your recovery site right now. So there's a great um, selection of intellectual property already on your premises, even if the one button reprotect doesn't work. So it's great. Um, if you have the ability to do the reprotection because it wasn't a catastrophic failure, it was like a service interruption type process, and you did choose to fail over, then the one button reprotect and subsequently one button fail back uh, would be an option for you. Okay. Um, on that note, that brings us to the end of our uh, video series on SRM5. Uh, if you would like to check out some more information, uh, go to vmware.com slash education to look for the SRM5 install configure manage class. Uh, or if you happen to be more interested in other products, uh, we have got a number of different training offerings available at that site, as well as our uh, main vmware.com website where we take a look at all of the other products that we have to help uh, manage and automate your data center.